In this video, we're going to add points to our map. So a point is essentially a general location. Um, in our editor, you can name rooms, entrances, objects, things like that. But sometimes you're going to need to be able to add just something general to the map to denote an area um, or something that maybe a room can't cover. So to do that, we're going to come down to the point tool here. We can click it or press P. And I'm going to add a study area to my library. So I'm going to zoom in to where I want to put the point, and I'm just going to put it next to this collection of desks. I'm going to select the point and give it a name. So I'm going to name it study area. If you have a plus map, which this is, so if you've upgraded your map, you can add a description as well as a link and an image. For this example, we're just going to name the points, and I'm going to detail these fields in another video. So, um, I find the most efficient way to add points to a map is actually to place all of them and then name them after. So I'm going to select the point tool again. I'm going to add one here for an outdoor seating area. And I'm going to add one for our stage in the gymnasium. One for our basketball court. And I'm also going to add one to denote the main entrance for visitors so they can tell which is the, the primary entrance. So now I'm going to name all of these. Our main entrance. I'm going to name our, I'll just call this seating area outdoors. I'm going to name this stage. And this one basketball court. Okay, and so now we're going to preview all of these points in our 3D viewer. Okay, we're here in our 3D viewer, and you can see that all of our points that we just labeled are here. So we've got our basketball court, stage, main entrance, etc. So it's just that easy to add points to your map. Uh, it's a really powerful feature, and again, if you upgrade your map to a plus map, you can add even more information.